Hello everyone, Miss O'Connor here. Today we're going to be making our own binoculars so we can check things out of the window. I've got two different kinds here and I'm gonna show you how to make your own paint using things from the kitchen. Things like vinegar and cornstarch. Hello, I'm back. I have everything I need to make my paint now. I've got cornstarch and some white vinegar. I've got some different food colorings. They come in these little bottles here, little plastic bottles. I've got some crayons and I've got paper towel. I've already mixed up a little bit of paint here. So I've got some nice little bit of blue paint and I'm gonna show you, I already tested out and made one side of my binocular here with a toilet paper tube. I painted the paper and wrapped it around, glued it and wrapped it around. I'm gonna show you how we can use a long paper towel tube by cutting it in half and making a little bit of a larger set of binoculars. So here I am, I'm going to mix up the paint shortly, but before, I painted on the paper, I drew with it with crayons. I've got my recipe here for the paint. It says two parts of cornstarch. So I'm gonna put two teaspoons of cornstarch. One, two. And then I'm gonna get three parts of vinegar. So it's a little bit like a science experiment and a little bit a cooking class and a lot about art so I mix it up vinegar is great to make paint with because it brightens the color and it also evaporates quickly so your painting dries fast I'm ready to add some color I think I'm gonna add two colors I'm gonna start with a few drops of red and then I'm gonna see what happens when I add a few drops of blue in there. I wonder what's gonna happen. Mix it up. Maybe you can guess what color. Oh, it's very dark. And what I've made is a very dark purple. So I think that's gonna look nice because I drew with yellow crayon and we'll see if uh, what happens when I paint on top of the crayon. See if it'll show up underneath the paint it's gonna pop out sometimes that happens this paint has a really nice creamy texture for painting with so I'm gonna try and cover up this whole area I measured this piece of paper so it would fit around my cardboard tube nicely I'm gonna add some blue now fill it in just kind of playing around you might mix up some more colors and play around with lots of colors on a, on your uh, paper. You can do some experimenting. I see the yellow is popping out a bit. And as the paint dries, it gets a bit lighter too and the crayon shows up more. Well, while that's drying, I'm going to add some more crayon on top to brighten up the color. I've got some kind of pink crayon here and I'm gonna go over my yellow spiral shapes. You can think of what kind of designs you might want. These are kind of fancy crayons, they have holders. I'm gonna get my green out here and I'm gonna add some polka dots and some shooting lines crossing, make it look like outer space. Some little bits of paint, chalky paint are coming off. And I'm ready to glue. Well, I've got my glue stick now and I'm going to glue my paper, the back of my painting. I'm gonna go around all the edges and carefully hold the paper so it's not gonna wrinkle up or move around too much. And then after the edges, I fill the insides and I'm gonna roll it around my tube 
make sure I tuck the edges in, measure it so it fits on that paper just right. And I think it looks nice. It worked out good. So I'm going to make a spacer for it now. So that's sort of a little tube that I cut off. I had covered it with tin foil to make it look fancy. And I'm going to glue that in there now. Get some of this thick white glue. It's called Well Bond. I place it in there and hopefully that will dry nicely. If you want to secure it, you can get all the pieces, try to get hold them as carefully as you can and wrap that elastic around them to hold it just like you would use a clamp on pieces of wood. Some people make furniture and have to glue everything and hold it together with a clamp, but we're using an elastic. That works well. And while we're gonna leave it to dry, Well, these are drying. I'm going to start the second set of binoculars here with the paper towel tube. So poke a little hole or try to snip it and start it and then cut your tube in half. I'm just measuring them to make sure they're the same size, but they're a little bit off. So I'm going to mark this and trim, trim this side to match the other one. And then I'll measure them again make sure they're the same. Yep, perfect. So they're gonna be a little bit bigger binoculars than the other ones. And I'm also gonna show you how to make a spacer. And to decorate these binoculars, I'm gonna use tin foil. It's gonna make them look very space age and shiny and fancy. So I just wanna measure this piece of tin foil and cut off the extra piece. And then I'm going to do the same as I did before by putting glue all over my piece of tin foil, all the way around the edge first, and then putting glue in the middle, holding it still. I'm just gonna trim a little bit more off so that it fits on that tin foil a bit better and cut the other one the same. And there we go, fits just right. And then I roll it over, fold the ends in, and it's, I'm ready to make my second side now. Now I have two sides ready for my binoculars. You might need to make a spacer, or your eyes might be just perfect to have them without a spacer. So hold it up to your eyes and check. And if you don't need one, you can just glue them together like this. And if you need a little space where your nose sits, you can make one out of um, just a section of the cardboard tube. I covered it in tin foil, and now I'm, I, I sliced it a bit because it was going to be too big. And so this is how I make it fit and make it a smaller spacer. And I'm going to take a little bit of tape and that's going to hold it together. Tape comes in handy. I have all kinds of tape at my house. So I'm going to get some of this nice thick white glue that I was telling you about. I'm going to put it on each side of my spacer. You can use any kind of white glue or glue stick. Or the, the white glue is stronger, but I found that I was even keeping my elastic on afterwards to give it strength. So we'll just leave that to dry. I wanted to show you how I did some decorating on my space age binoculars just have a regular ballpoint pen here and you can make some really nice designs in the tin foil and i'm just making a flower shape here put a few petals on you can put any design you want
While that's drying, I'm going to get some sticky tape here, some packaging tape. I'm going to put some on my first set of binoculars because they were starting to fall apart and I want to reinforce them, make them strong so I can play with them lots and use them a lot. I'm just making sure that I'm tucking them into the little spacer piece and I'm ready to put on my strap now. So if you have a hole punch, you can punch some holes in the side. You gotta be really strong or you might need some help. You might have to use two hands. Or if you don't have a hole punch in your house, you can just get somebody to help you to poke a hole in the side with a, a sharp scissors, maybe your mom or dad or a big brother, or something. So here I am, I've got some wool. So you can look for any kind of string or a shoelace, anything around the house and you're gonna have to uh, um, make a double knot here. So loop it around once and then twice. I'm gonna show you on this side too. You first make one knot, loop it around, pull the tail through, wrap it around your finger again and pull it tight. And you're ready to wear your binoculars.